After years of underfunding and neglect to our country's roadway system, construction on our nation's highways and bridges is now at an all-time high. But the challenges that face contractors when they begin working on these busy roadways has never been greater. You can see you got all this traffic all around us here. We're sitting here in an island and we had to figure out how we were going to get into the site first, build roads in. Um, we had to build gravel roads into this area because we're basically sitting on a, like a triangular shaped island here. Um, next thing you have to do is get utilities located, make sure you're not going to conflict with any of those. You got power lines to deal with, so you got to figure out where you're going to set up to drill your, to drill your shaft. The obstacles that await beneath the surface of the construction project can sometimes be especially daunting to the contractor. The construction of new power lines, placement of piles to support a bridge, or the laying of new water, gas, and sewer lines all require the ability to drill deep into the earth and oftentimes through the most trying elements. Drilling, it's, it's a lot of variables. You can have hard ground, soft ground, rocks, limestone, they're all, uh, they're all your enemy. You've got sand, rock, boulders, clay, water. Uh, when you get into those transition seams between clay and sand, you usually find boulders and water. So those are some of the challenges we find here. In such cases, it takes the latest drilling technology and an innovative approach to how holes are drilled in order to come up with a monster machine that can tackle a monster project. The biggest challenge is Mother Nature. In many cases, you don't know what you're going to drill into and there's varying conditions, water, sands, clays, rock, uh, many different types of soil conditions you're gonna dig into. There are companies that will come out and do soils reports. They'll drill small diameter holes to certain depths and it'll give you a clue. They'll give you a report of, of what you're about to get into, but your first hole on that job site is your test hole and it'll tell you at that point what you're up against. This major road interchange project underway on Interstate 94 in Milwaukee being done for the Wisconsin Department of Transportation is one example of the unique challenges that face a contractor in drilling. In this case, a hole needs to be dug to install a concrete pipe as a storm sewer. But not just any size hole, mind you. This hole needs to measure 27 feet across and 50 feet deep, the size of a building. Well, with the original purpose that they ordered this machine for, and that's clearing boulders out of the way of their tunnel boring machines, They've now got an added bonus of being able to drill the shaft to place the tunnel boring machine in the ground. Machines are built to access the most difficult drilling sites in the world. I work for a contractor in Southern California. We put our machines under homes, under buildings, on cliffs, in some of the most trying places that you can think of putting a machine, and successfully every time. A number of obstacles stood in the way of this utility contractor getting the job done. Obstacles that would have been a barrier to most drilling machines, but were merely tasks to accomplish for the low drill. When we're microtunneling, it's necessary. If you're on a rock, you don't want that pipe to get stuck behind the machine, so you want to get that rock out of your way as soon as possible. So the idea was getting something that we could buy that would be very mobile and get out onto the job. And Initial impressions with, uh, with uh, drilling this, these 20-foot diameter shafts is it's, it's really stable, it's holding, it's holding its own really well. And what they've discovered since then is the machine have, has enough power and reach that they can now drill the shaft to place their tunnel boring machine in the ground. And this is saving them a lot of money. Upon completion of this drilling operation, tunnel boring will allow huge sewer pipes to be installed along the entire length of the freeway expansion. It gives a whole new meaning to drilling a large hole, thanks to the innovative technology and design of today's drilling equipment. Drilling for power line foundations and utilities often encounter monster-sized problems. Since 1990, the low drill by Bayshore Systems has been the monster solution to some of the most difficult drilling challenges faced by contractors around the world. Our mission at Bayshore Systems is to improve the way holes are drilled in this industry and to make our customers the most successful contractors in the business. It's really helped us to, to drill a shaft that normally takes, say, two or three weeks to get down to grade. We're able to get them down to grade in three, four days. As the most versatile construction drilling tool on the market today, the low drill puts power and versatility where it counts. 
under overhead obstructions, on slopes, or around any obstacle, the low drill is the king of difficult access drilling. For more information, visit BayshoreSystems.com.